Hmm. Nice looking car. We should pull up into one of our parking spots right over here. Yeah, that's the two for right now. <laughs> Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Resident Zock. Welcome back from our Grand Theft Auto Online. So, uh, as you can tell by my shirt, we're going to Benny's. Yeah. <laughs> Double two thumbs up. All right. Yeah, so just hanging out front of the club, and I'd been making money, like I said last time, so it's been kind of inching its way back up again, and as you guys can see in the top right corner, I'm just over 30 million again. So it's a good time to buy a new Benny's car. I thought I'd wear the white today for, for no particular reason, something different. I usually wear the black one. A lot of people ask me um, how I get these shirts, and I don't always <laughs> remember, but uh, the Benny's ones I do remember. I think you have to do the um, all of the... Uh, um, uh, Lamar Davis missions, the lowrider missions. So on your map, uh, if they're still there, on my map I can't show you because they're gone now, but uh, there should be an LD that you'll usually see on your map. Uh, kind of black and gold icon, if I remember right. And it's similar to the Benny's icon, actually. Let me see if I can go over to the Benny's icon. Yeah, so it's very similar in color to that one. And uh, once you complete all those missions, then uh, you unlock the uh, T-shirt. Yeah, a black and white one. And I think you also unlock the ability um, to have them in your jobs list. So once you've done all those missions, then it shows up in your jobs list. Uh, you can actually pick those and redo those missions anytime you want. Until you've finished all of them, as far as I know, they don't show up in your jobs list like other missions until all of them have been done. Yeah. So that's how you get those shirts. So this is our Anis LG, our retro custom uh, Anis LG. Yeah. And I thought today would be a good day to get something different. Maybe another street racer to some people, and um, um, to some other people it'd be an off-road rally racer, and that would be, of course, the Karen Sultan RS. Yeah, so I get carried away. I like driving this car. It's a nice, nice little racer. <laughs> so let's bring up our phone, and we're going to order the car. So you can steal the car, but um, you can also order it easily, and it's a cheap car, so I'd recommend probably just easier to just order it. You do need to order it from Benny's, though, on the enhanced editions. So, unfortunately not available, well, unfortunately not the Benny's or anything like that, <laughs> on the old versions. So, Benny's Original Motor Works, there we go. And stock. All right, somewhere here we're gonna find ourselves a Sultan. There it is, Karen Sultan, $12,000. All right. So that's a good looking uh, one, actually. I was thinking about the red and black, and I, I think I'm not going to go with the red and black, so it's good and good that we get to see one. They're kind of cool that way. Red and black, and done up red and black. Very nice. Yeah, very rally razor. Yeah. For a wide-eyed junior exec in the late 90s, nothing said I can almost afford to buy European, <laughs> like the Karen Sultan. These days, you're an angry, middle-aged, pre-diabetic wannabe rally driver, but the Sultan is still your best friend. With your money and our expertise, this could become the high-octane racer you dreamed of as a teenager and still have no idea how to drive. <laughs> Eligible for customization at Benny's Original Motorworks. All right, so let's order it up. When will we order it in? Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking about actually maybe even doing a black or a gray one. But we're going to have a look at all the colors as usual. We've kind of seen red a little bit, I suppose, with that picture. So uh, maybe we'll be different this time. We'll order it in uh, green. And green's different. This is just the regular Sultan anyway, though. Not quite the same. Hmm. Yeah, maybe a nice orange. Yeah, blue. Blue. Why not? We'll get blue. Blue is another option, too. Ooh, uh, Benny's, I always forget where to order it from. Yeah, right there. Buy. They don't have a big buy now button. <laughs> you got to click on the actual words there. All right, so send it to Delborough Heights, just across the street. Be delivered shortly. All right, nice. Okay, so there is the Karen Sultan. So the Karen Sultan's been in the uh, previous games for a while. It's so generally a regular kind of car. The Karen Sultan, um, it's an okay sports car. Now, unfortunately, because it's in the sports class, it's heavily outmatched. Now, it does have four doors, so that's something to be said. It's a sports car with four doors. Uh, it seats four, obviously. Um, and not too many sports cars are like that. But that said, it doesn't do the greatest that way. It's in kind of the wrong class. And, you know, in a sense, the Karen, and we're going to get into it, uh, the reasons to why, too, the Karen Sultan RS as well, um, 
are you know kind of a good example of, of uh, some people think there should be more car classes or subclasses you know and uh, in the sports class it doesn't do well and uh, this car when we take take it to Benny's is going to change into a supercar so we'll talk about that too but even in the supercars it doesn't really do well um, because it's not that type of car now if, it, if we had a rally class or an off-road class um, for these types of cars only it might actually do really well in that type of imaginary class if we had it yeah Somebody left their door open. <laughs> Jeez, trusting neighborhood. <laughs> so let's head inside. All right, so um, yeah, we're going to see that it's a $795,000 conversion. And right now, for one day only, until tomorrow, um, with the new events, there's a 30% off sale. So I wouldn't worry about it too much, though, because that, that isn't a lot of money, per se. Um, but keep your eyes open for any of those uh, Benny car sales. We do the news uh, every Tuesday. and uh, Or any kind of time that they mention uh, Benny's conversion sales, too. And that covers all the Benny's cars. Yeah, got some of the Halloween vehicles here. As we talked about last time, Halloween's just in the next couple days. The Sanctus. Our Ellie, I just had Ellie out. <laughs> oh, there it is. Our blue sultan. All right. Okay, let's take it outside. See what it sounds like. <laughs> yep. So this is just a regular car right now. We're gonna take it to Benny's and convert that and uh, go from there. So it should be much better. You saw me! <laughs> and I didn't care. <laughs> All right, so there she is. So this is just a regular Sultan, and this is a sports car, as you guys can see. Now, in the sports class, um, there is a lot of cars. It's, uh, I think it's almost 60 cars in the sports class. And uh, this particular car, let me see here. Uh, yeah, they're written down here somewhere. Yeah, in the uh, sports class, it's roughly, um, going by roughly 1322's testing, it's uh, 28th place in lap time, so that'd be tight turns and figure eights, things like that, and 38th place in top speed. So not the greatest. Of course, it could be worse, obviously, by those numbers out of 60 cars, but not the greatest. Now, after we convert it at Benny's coming up, it becomes a supercar. And uh, it doesn't really get much better for it in that class either. You could almost say it's worse for it in that class. Kind of just winging my way here to Benny's. We'll take this way. I don't go to Benny's every day, but I kind of remember where it is. <laughs> But yeah, in the uh, in the in the super class that it's going to become, it's uh, which is about uh, 37 plus cars, 37 cars. It might be more than that. We'll just call it 40 cars, a little bit less than 40. And uh, in uh, lap time, it's 32nd, and top speed 34th. So near the back of the pack. So not very good. But again, to me, it's not your regular kind of supercar. Yeah. So do I recommend the vehicle? Um, well, no. I would generally say no, but as a collecting car, as a uh, throwback car, as we're going to talk about, yes. You know, I, I'm getting one today. So as you guys are telling right now, I'm buying it as we speak. So, yeah, for that little bit of 30% off, why not? Something different. Kind of goes with our other racer, too. Yeah. So we're going to turn this Cairn uh, Sultan into the Sultan RS. Now, I would imagine the RS stands for Rally Sport, but it could be uh, Racing Sport. But I would imagine it's Rally Sport. Yeah. Into Benny's. Benny! I haven't seen you in quick, so long. I need to shape this up to something much, much better. Yeah. Much, much better. Yeah, so this is the original Sultan. And a lot of people know it as a throwback, kind of, in a sense, um, to uh, GTA 4. So in the original GTA 4, and that was the original one with just Nico Bellic before uh, before Ballad of Gay Tony or before The Lost or any of those expansions, um, there was uh, the regular Sultans, but there was a certain Sultan you could find, the Sultan RS. And it was in, I think, just one spot on the map. So people discovered it. It was kind of a back of a building, and it was a little hard to find if you didn't know what you were looking for. And it was one of the fastest, if not the fastest car in the game. And it was almost hidden to a lot of people. Like, if you didn't know you were looking for it, you might not have ever known it was there. And it wasn't obviously a regular Sultan. It was the Sultan RS. Like that. So we got 30% off. So it's normally 795000 
So usually almost 800,000 and we're getting it for 556,500. Are you sure you want to upgrade it? I guess it double asked me. Hmm. Well, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I like that conversion. Side exhausts. Woohoo. All right. And everything got silent. That wasn't me. I don't know what that was. Sometimes the engine noises go like that, but I guess she's got quiet. <laughs> but that was cool. Yeah. Ooh, and check out the rims. So I was actually thinking um, about using rims. There is a rims choice that looks just like that. I might change it to it. But that's actually the uh, the uh, original rim from GTA 4. So with Ballad of the Gay Tony, I think there was more of the uh, Sultan RSs that appeared as gangsters that you could fight. But generally speaking, with the regular GTA 4, it was kind of famous for that, for being the fastest car. And it had exactly those rims, more or less. Yeah. And it was more or less like this too. So um, now it's a two door, as you guys can see. It only sees, uh, it only fits two people now as a supercar. So let's give it armor for 100%, 30,000. Thanks, Penny. And race brakes for 7,000. Well, at least that stuff's cheap. Cheap so far. Front bumpers and rear bumpers. Uh, hmm, and chassis and engine. Yeah, I guess we'll just go through it in order for now. Okay, front bumper, custom splitter, classic RS bumper, sticker bomb, drift RS, GT bumpers, street SBL bumpers, Amp vented C1, tons of these bumpers, drift RS bumpers and canards, so there's little side canards right there, yep, evolved bumper. Street SBL extended, so it pops out a little bit more than the other ones. Kind of gives it a more, uh, I don't know, uh, arrow-like uh, front. C2 loop bumper, then back to stock. Okay. Well, I might want to pick my primaries and secondaries too. But so far I think I kind of, I'm going to go with a race car version, but a little bit of a throwback style. Kind of making it look like uh, like the GTA 4 version, but a little bit better obviously. Hopefully. But I do like the extended part. It gives it that race car look for the look I'm going for. These, uh, I guess it would just be these last three Last two. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the extended. The street SBL. But that's our choice. 4,400. Rear bumper. Classic rear. RS rear. Drift RS. So we can give it the classic look. I think that was the classic right there. Yep, a clean cut rear bumper. Beepo rear bumper. Just gives us a little curve there, if you can see. Hmm. That's definitely a different look. RS Evolved. GT rear. Street SBL rear. Vented GT rear. Hmm. Vented GT rear. Hmm. Oh, I gotta look. Yeah. I wish they they give us the zoom out or zoom in, but I wish they gave us the zoom out. Sometimes. Oh, see, because then you can sometimes see better details like these little vents that appear and disappear. Street SPL. Hmm. Little curves on that one. The vented GT rear. Well, I do like that classic look, but I did like those vents and curves. Yeah, so I think I will go with the vented GT rear bumper, 3,400, just for the extra details on the curves. Yeah. All right, now I might skip right ahead to our respray. 
Hmm, maybe our plate. Yeah, let's do our plate. Doesn't suck. <laughs> Much better. Beautiful. Hmm, no uh, plate covers or anything. Hmm. Okay, respray. So primary, secondary, and trim. What is the trim? Yeah, so a bunch of the interior. I imagine we're going to change a lot of that interior later. So don't worry about it right now. But I just wanted to see what kind of things change with it. Chrome. <laughs> and the libraries too. So before I change the colors, you might want to have a look through that. Because sometimes once you change the color, it can change the library look. Like if I used black, then... Uh, you might not be able to see the black library so well. So there's a classic looking um, library right there, the Sultan RS. Yep, four uh, by the looks of it. Yep, black Sultan RS. Not a white. Blue Power Stripe. And Street Drifter. Redwood. Karen Performance. And Princess Robot and Bubblegum. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I might go with that street drifter. Because that's the one I was thinking of. Go with our black really well. Or our gray, silver. But it would go really well with the reds and all kinds of things too, obviously. Yeah, so that's all the library choices. Some of these are also, uh, to some people, throwbacks to, or uh, shoutouts to um, uh, uh, Fast and Furious movies. I believe it was the uh, Power Straight and the Street Drifter itself. Or was it? Yeah. But of course it's, uh, it's yeah, can't remember which ones. But it's also a throwback to the uh, GTA 4 with these... Um, Classic RS stripes too. That one anyway. And that one's a nice one to go with too. I'm tempted to use it. But I do like the little race elements of the uh, Street Drifter. All the little decals and Karen Street Racing and everything all around there. I think we can use that quite well. Yep. Like we took one from GTA 4 and turned it into our race car now. <laughs> Street Drifter, 36,000. Respray. All right, so let's go through some of the colors. So there's black, with the secondary blue, <laughs> and green, gasoline green, lime green. Yep, hot pinks, frost whites, we get into the purples. Yep, this is a nice looking car, like as we go through it in Benny's, as you guys will see, like you can make it look like a like a rally race car, you can make it look like a, uh, a really nice street racer, you can make it look like a really nice regular clean car with no livery, it looks really, really good that way. Yep, uh, it's really popular for stancing, I suppose, but I'm going to get the uh, bulletproof tires though, so I suppose you can't, but, uh, but people who like to do that, it's a popular car for that. Yeah. But yeah, it really does look great in a lot of colors. There's the red and black, kind of. <laughs> I'm trying not to ruin it with the blue on there, too. We'll change that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'll use for it yet, though. Hmm. And a matte look would not look nice, too. that has a really nice look to it. But I think I'm going to go with the classic shine. Hmm. But I was thinking about the silvers. Just wanted to have a quick look at that against the uh, library. 
Yeah, the Midnight Silver looks really good. But I think I'm going to go with the black. Which black? Hmm. Yeah, just black. We'll see about a bit. Um, a bit of pearlescence. Now, in the original ones, the in GTA 4, they always had a uh, carbon hood. And I could probably give it a carbon hood, but I probably won't because I kind of like that uh, livery and everything. But I can kind of give it that sort of effect by giving it a matte black. Yeah, as you guys can see, it kind of hides that already because I guess that's already matte black. Yeah, I do like the shiny black, but I think I, I think that will help with our little throwback look. So I will go with the matte black. All right, so that's done done for now. Let's go back up to that list. Where were we? All right, jazzy. Headlight trim. Headlight trim. Hmm. And a roll cage. And hood. So many options. What about it? Twin vented head. Carbon hood. So there is some good carbon heads, vented heads, and the carbon scooped head, and twin vented, and sticker on. So for the classic look, you'd probably want the carbon hood with the scooped head. Yeah, that would be the more or less the uh, GTA 4 look you'd find uh, spawned by the back of the building. But I'm dressing it up a little bit more. That's cool. The showtime hood. <laughs> I haven't used that yet, I don't think, for any vehicles, but uh, I haven't found the right one for it. And this one's not it either, because I'm using that throwback look, but a little bit of extra spice in it, so we're going to go with the scooped hood, regular scooped hood. That way my library still shows up there and everything. There we go. So a little bit of a throwback look there. Now we'll go back into the chassis. All right. Now fog lights. Hmm. Rally fog lights and carbon rally. So do we want it to blend in with that front, or do we want it to just be on its own? Uh, probably on its own, just regular. So apparently the fog lights do actually work. And uh, there is there is headlight covers that we're going to look at. And if you do cover your headlights, then you can compensate for it by having the fog light added. Yeah. Although I do like that RS in the front. It gives it a very good race car look instead of a rally look. Hmm. Headlight trim. Let's have a look at that. Customize eyebrows we were talking about. Carbons, basic headlight vent, vents, primary color light covers, secondary color light covers, carbon light covers. So those are, those are the light covers right there. But does it really change the look that much? Hmm. Well, a little bit, I suppose. And there is that little secondary, like there's two lights there. There's this one and this little secondary light. But when you go to the cover, it hides both. Hmm. Yeah, I do like the covers. It's kind of a cool effect. Matte black's kind of nice too. Gives it more black black with it. But I do like how those, the, uh, the eyelids there kind of give it a meaner look too. <laughs> but I think I'm going to go with the matte black. Matte black covers. Yep, secondary light covers. All right, 12,000. Okay. Now roof scoops. Roof vent and carbon vent. All right. Do you like the clean look? But it gives it a little bit more mean look, I suppose, from the front. A little bit more race car with it. It's a, a tiny bit more spice. So the original one in GTA 4 had this, but it did not have this. I do not believe. But nonetheless, I like it. It's a touch more. 
doors. All right, painted wind deflectors. Carbon wind deflectors. Window safety net. Cool. Hmm, I like options. And that paint does go all the way down here too. So it does change quite a bit. Hmm, that's a hard choice for now. I might have to pick the interior first to know if I'm going race car like that or if I'm going clean. Mm. Roll cage, street half cage, dash dodger cage, padded dash dodger, and full roll cage. Very similar and padded. Padded full, none padded full. Padded dash dodger. Oh, I see. So these little crossbars disappear. And street half. So it's a little bit more open. Now we were going race car, right? So. Maybe we should go padded full roll cage. <laughs> Gotta protect ourselves, safety first. Ooh, I like that on the uh, on the steering wheel, RS, nice. That's cool, very cool. Okay, so that might be our chassis for now. Engine, mm, engine tunes, level four, 6,700. A little bit of a purr. That's the first time we've heard it since we've been in pennies. <laughs> start race. All right, well, let's start with the engine block. Yep, primary color valve. Like, it changes quite a bit more than just that, though. Yep, secondary color. Polished and carbon valve covers. So there's our original and the extras. I think we're gonna go polished, or not polished, but uh, our primary, which is uh, shiny. So that's the polish I meant. Yeah. Carbon's okay too. Okay, primary for 40,000. <laughs> not cheap at all. Cam covers. Primary color cam belt. Zoom in there. So there's none with the red block there. Primary, secondary, polished, carbon, and open, black exposed, blue exposed, red exposed, purple exposed. Hmm. Well, those choices, I'll go with the red exposed, I think. Now that's an engine. Mm hmm. 28,139. <laughs> Start brace. All right, polished strut brace. Get some coffee. Carbon strut brace. Medium polished strut brace. Medium titanium strut brace. Titanium, triangulated, wide titanium, large polished. Sticker bomb, polished twin bar. <laughs> Extreme billet. And lightened racing. Hmm. 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 I think I might go with, with the available choices. I think I kind of like that extreme billet. Yep, a little bit more open look. But I do like the uh, lightened, the racing, uh, lightened racing strip race. But to me, that seems kind of typical. That's just a little bit different. And I really like the openness of it. And the polished is nice twin bar. It'd be nice if they had one of those that was thinner. And they kind of have it with here, but they're not a polished one. 
and then they just have single bars there which is still nice like they got a black one there too basic stripe brace so I guess that's your basic one yeah so it'd be nice to have a couple different choices but that's okay extreme billet strut brace gives us some of those thin bars I was talking about 24,150 only <laughs> why not all right yep you only go to Benny so often <laughs> exhaust all right so there's our side exhaust which is already kind of nice and a throwback that's more or less the way it was in gta 4 right there from the conversion but we'll see what they'll give us so so uh straight side exhaust for 750 slashed side exhaust twin short side hmm. now stock is on both sides no it's just on the one Twin straight side and big bore. Hmm. Well, you know, I actually kind of like the stock the most. <laughs> I think I'm gonna not buy any of those. It's the only one that's got that throwback look and it's got the shiny muffler and everything, and uh, the rest of them don't quite seem as polished. Yeah, I think I like that best. All right, fenders. So secondary color arches and carbon arches. Nice. Primary color bolt-on arches. Mm. Secondary color bolt-on arches. And carbon and wide body arches. Nice, and they have bolts on those as well on the wide body. I do like the uh, I like them all <laughs> but that changes it quite a bit and it gives us the bolts all the way back definitely a race car edge with a big fatter a much fatter look to it hmm yeah I think I will but it is a close competition between these regular ones with bolt-on arches. I do like those as well. Yeah, wide body arch extensions it is. 3,300. Grill. Remove grill. Intercooler with twin vans. Intercooler with water sprayer. And monster intercooler. Hmm. And this is why I waited before I decided to put the uh, the other uh, fog uh, fog lights as well. Wow. Well, again, I kind of like the RS. I think I'm going to leave that stock. Yep, because then I get the RS symbol there and the nice mesh. I like that. And still got the Endo logo there too. Sorry, it shakes when I use the uh, controller and the mouse at the same time. <laughs> In case you guys are wondering, it's not lag, it's it's just me. <laughs> uh, interior, uh, one second. We'll do the ex ex exterior a little bit longer. Uh, lights, headlights, seen on lights for 3,000. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> I have headlight covers on. <laughs> well, underneath that, there's really nice headlights. <laughs> Uh, we'll see about a neon kit, but I don't think so for this one. Although, you know, it certainly would belong on a vehicle like this, depending on how you do your street racer. Yeah. Okay, we went through the roof. Skirts. Mm. Black rubber mud flaps. Primary color mud flaps. And they have the Karen logo on there too. Once you get to the primary color anyway. Instead of the black one. That's cool. And side skirt extension. Ah, that's that little piece right, uh, right there. You can see it appearing. So, kind of moves in and out with that. All right. 
So, let's see. Primary color mid flaps. And secondary. Uh, one of these two. Shine or no shine? Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the shine. Kind of gives that, that body extension look, even though it's just mud flaps. Hmm. So primary color, mud flaps. That's what I'm going to go with. Yeah. All right. Spoiler. Mid-level spoiler. Painted classic RS. Nice with the Karen logo on it. Uh, Mid-level GT wing. Short lip spoiler. Cool. So that's your more regular Sultan. If you're doing it as a clean look, a clean Sultan, you might like it. Extended lip spoiler, bolt on ducktail, drag spoiler. Hmm, nice drag spoiler. And then you've got the stock car spoiler. Mm, nice. And a classic RS wing. And rally spec RS wing. Carbon wing. High level GT wing. Carbon Wing Type 2, Extreme Danforce BGW, <laughs> uh, Muscle Killer Wing, hmm. Tarmac Attack Wing, and that's all. Well, that is a hard choice then. So I like a lot of these, and depending on the kind of look you're going for, it should give you a, a spoiler that you like, whether it's a clean look or a race car or a, or a, a street racer or a rally racer or an off-roader yep it is a good off-road car um, it does have all-wheel drive uh, 25 75 so 25 percent power in the front and 75 in the rear so that is uh, decent for off-roading but yeah for the spoiler i was going to go with the uh, classic look Let's see if i can find it here uh, yeah probably the painted classic rs wing yep uh, doesn't let me look above it but yeah, you can see the Karen written on it. I kind of like that. And that's more or less your classic um, GTA 4 look. I think. It had a uh, spoiler like that. But I did want to give it some flair. And I like this uh, stock car spoiler. That's nice. But I think I am going to go with that other one here. Oh, and they've got bolts on that one too. Bolt-on ducktail. Mm. I seen the ducktail, but I didn't realize it was a bolt-on. As you guys can see, it goes with all our other bolts. Oh, so that's tempting too. So we could do a bolt-on. And we could do the, uh, do the uh, stock car that gives us even more, more library stuff. Atomic on there. And I also like this one here, the Muscle Killer Wing. Because to me, this one's kind of, um, um, on this car, it's kind of like a souped up version of the original. You know, it's similar to the original spoiler, but a little bit more. Yeah, so that's tempting too. So that's my three choices that I like for this. So, but I guess I'm going to have to pick. Can only be one. So not the muscle killer, even though I like it. Uh, stock car spoiler. Hmm, I do like that. And the bolt-on ducktail. Uh, I think it might win just because those bolts really just kind of go all the way around the car then. <laughs> but that's cool too. Yeah, I think it's uh, going to be bolt-on ducktail. All dressed up. All right, 2,300. Suspension. Lowered, street, sport, competition. 4,400, or 4,400, I should say. Super transmission. Ooh, that's something else that's kind of nice about this, too. Street, sports, race, and that's usually it for most, most other vehicles and stuff, um, as far as the names go. But this one has super transmission. And I guess that's because it's a sports car going to a supercar, I guess. Super transmission it is, 12,000. All right. Turbo for 30,000. Turbo's in. 
All right, and we're to our. Well, let's have a look at those wheels. So, like I said, those wheel types are actually the uh, the stock wheel you'd more or less find on the uh, Sultan RS and GTA 4. And that's the wheel type I was going to pick. Actually, I I didn't even know that the stock car stock wheel would be this. All right, so picked our wheel here and uh, I'll save you guys I'm gonna cut out the <laughs> I was looking through all the wheels and I'll spare you guys uh, me looking through all of them um, but yeah I was looking for a certain one so like I said this is the actual looking stock rim from the uh, from the uh, regular Sultan RS so I wanted to keep it that way but there is a rim that pretty much nearly identical match and that's under tuners yeah, I looked everywhere but tuners <laughs> took me a while so under the tuners there is the group Z Group Z, Group Z, whichever you like. And there it is. So there it is right there, as you guys can see. And I'm going to click off of it. And you can see the other one's just a little bit wider. So it just comes out a little bit more with the regular stock one. And you could probably color the stock one through the um, uh, through the iFruit app. It looks like that centerpiece could be colored. Now that said, I do find that this one, yeah, the Group Z, is actually a little bit more detailed, if you ask me. So it's a little bit smaller in the rim, just a little bit. But if you look on the outside, I find that just that inner piece, like you can almost, you can see that pin just barely. So if you look closely, there's just that little pin in there and you can see the chrome on it, just barely. So to me, it's just a little bit more detailed than that one. That one's just a little bit dull when you look at it on the inside. Yeah. So that's why I'm going to pick the Group Z. And there it is. 6,350. All right, so now we're going to color that black. Hmm, yeah, probably black. Almost certainly black. Although, you know, you can use things like yellow like that to offset it. it gives it a, a fancy pair of shoes. <laughs> red for ruby slivers, you know, that kind of thing. It just attracts your attention. Red, sometimes there's enough red like on the exhaust, on your on the uh, the race seats that we haven't put in yet and on the netting and things like that that sometimes it helps to add these little accents but i think i'm just going to go with black on this one it goes with the rest of the car all right tire design custom tires yeah i think so it's a race car we'll give it some uh, extra decals there extra detailing tire enhancements bulletproof tires mm, tough decision but i think i'm going to get it got those tires Thanks. 25,000 for that, for bulletproof tires. And some black tire smoke. Okay, so that is our tires. All that is solved. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now that grill and the front. Hmm. Was it chassis upgrades? Headlight trim, fog lights. Yeah, I'll have a look at those fog lights again. No, I think I'm actually going to keep it that way, which is stock there and, and stock grill. A few stock parts to keep it that way. But I guess it is a converted car in the first place at Benny's. Okay, so into the interior we go. All right. So our trim. Trim design. Sunstrip. Pop outside here. Oh, yeah. Karen Racing Auto Performance. Nice. Take it. That's a beautiful thing. Thanks. I think she's certainly becoming a beautiful little race car here. Uh, we'll keep the ornaments for now. Dash. All right, let's pop in here. Street interior. Okay. Oh, and they got some buttons down there after that one. Semi-stripped interior. Race dash and stripped interior. Hmm. Carbon dash and stripped interior. Yeah, I had a feeling that this back was changing. So as we're going along, it's there's our regular one. Well, regular there. And then street doesn't change. And then semi-stripe does. Race dash. Carbon dash and striped. And flock. So they stay the same on the back, more or less. After those ones. Hmm. Hmm. Flock dash. Carbon dash. Race dash and striped interior. Yeah, very similar. Hmm. 
but I actually kind of like the uh, the race dash striped interior. Kind of goes with the rest of the car better, if you ask me. And just allows the vents and other stuff that disappear as we go higher. And yet still has all the the race extensions, like all the little buttons and everything, and the new pedals. So race dash and striped interior for thirty-two thousand nine hundred forty. <laughs> Thanks, Benny. Reupholstered our ass. <laughs> Dials. All right. Pound mounted. Pound, pod mounted. Jeez. Pod mounted taco. Taco. Yeah, tachometer. I guess they just didn't want to say tachometer on there. Just taco. Cluster mounted taco. Tachometer in there. Pod and pod taco and glove box gauges. I can't even zoom out. Oh, I see. Bottom right. Weird angles it gives us. Very strange angles. All right, taco and glove box cages, pod taco and cage and dash cages, and taco and <laughs> and dash cages. All right. Does that seem confusing? Just a little bit, right? Hmm. 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 Hmm, so you can have it at the dash box or the glove box. Do we want to get rid of our glove box? Well, you never know when you might need a glove box, so maybe we'll move it up. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so then it's between these two, probably. Not those two. That's two. These two. Yeah. I don't think I like that side tachometer. Tachometer. Yeah. Yeah. Pod Dago and Dash Gauges for twenty-two thousand dollars. Woo! Expensive gauges. Doors. Carbon door cards. Aluminum panel. Carbon panel. Primary. Secondary. And aluminum race door cards. And carbon race door cards. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I think that primary works better, I think. Yeah, but they all look good. But the bolts come out a little bit better. But there. Yeah, maybe there it is, the secondary. Yeah, we're going to go secondary color door cards. Brings out those bolts a little bit. Sounds good to me. 17,000 only. Benny's cars are always pricey. <laughs> always pricey. Seats. Well, that's an interesting view. Don't get a view like that every day. Wow. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll go with it. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to... How's that going to work? What a weird view that is. Is that any better? Not really. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's uh, the only views we're going to get is those two. So, painted sports. Yep, sport seats, painted sports. Probably doesn't change because my, my color is uh, black. So, it probably just looks the same on there because the uh, regular one is black. So, carbon, ballistic fiber. Those look almost identical. They look the uh, same in here. Oh no, we can see the changes on these ones. Yeah, so car uh, painted and carbon and ballistic fiber. Painted tuner. Yeah, carbon tuner. Ballistic fiber tuner seats. And that's these ones here. So that's the other race seats. Although you get some different colors with them though. So reds and greens for the uh, for the uh, seat belts. Carmen race seats. Looks very uncomfortable. <laughs> Ballistic fiber track seats. Mm. 
Oops, there's the uncovered bones. Plastic fiber. Hmm. Okay, so for me, I think I'm going to get the red, uh, one of the ones with red uh, uh, seat belts on there. You can just barely see them, but they, they kind of have bigger uh, shoulder arches on the seats. I'm just kind of comparing them. Shortened. And higher. Yeah, maybe we'll go with the full cushioning there. Yeah, painted track seats. So carbon track seats gives us the uh, the red that I think we wanted on the fully padded ones. Yeah, that's what they look like in here. Eighteen thousand five hundred sixty-five. That was weird to try to pick those from that angle. <laughs> All right light color would be the dashes yeah wish we could zoom out hmm sienna brown that's kind of nice those are very bright the white Salmon Bing also brings it right up too. Easy to read gauges. Mm. And lots of color choices. Mm. And change the little lights down there too. Run the AC and IGN buttons. Yeah, how bright or not there. Hmm. Well, I think I might even go with a just a bright white. Hmm. Maybe the red was better. But with the reds, it kind of hides your uh, your red line a little bit. That Sienna Brown's not bad though. Kind of gives us a red look without uh, being too red. So you can read the gauges still very well, even though they're toned down. Salmon Pink's very bright too. Feister Pink, it's not too bad actually. Easy to read. Hot Pink, very hot. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just not finding that shade that I like. Yeah, I think candy red might actually be the best. Brings it up the brightest, but yet brings it, uh, you know, darker look with the red, but still bright and able to read. Yeah. Hopefully you know what I mean. Candy red, 6,075. Steering wheels. All right, one second. Sorry guys, I had to cough there for a moment. All right, so I do like that RS on there, the uh, stock wheel basically. And then you got the Apex Basic, that's the Karen. Got all kinds of race ones, formula cutout. Yep, nice race styling. Ooh, Sultan. So got some customized uh, logoing on there, with the Sultan on there in the center. And the bolts around there, mm, that might go with our uh, the rest of ours. All right, Sprint Lightweight, Sprint Professional, mm. Rally Basic, Rally Clubman, Rally Professional, and Stock. 
Well, I was thinking about keeping the stock just because of the uh, big RS on there, but actually there's a lot of good choices in here. Mm. Coffee. I do like that Sultan display. And I do like the one with the bolts to go with the rest of our stuff. But I think I like the, uh, the detail work on the race car version here. With, then we get the Karen on there and we get the RS. Karen logo and the RS. So that's not bad. Yeah. Clubman blends in with our black. But I think I like the professional. Gives a little bit more detail instead of blending it in. Yeah. Rally professional. 22,950 for a steering wheel. <laughs> Wheels in. All right, Benny. Yeah, money's in the bank, I guess, for you. <laughs> All right. Okay. We did pick our trim, right? Yeah. I don't know why it's uh, still got that star on there. It just does that sometimes, I think. Okay, so do I want a bobblehead? One of the advantages of Benny's. And not all cars give you the uh, the bobblehead, actually. I don't think our Anus LG actually gave us the option. But uh, the uh, LG Retro Custom. But apparently, the uh, Karen Sultan RS does give you the option. And it's Halloween, too. Coming around the corner soon. These ones might be appropriate, too. Our Grim Reaper for our race car. <laughs> I've used Grim Reaper a few times. But there's only so many choices in here for the... Uh, for the um, uh, bobbleheads, so well, I don't know if you guys have seen them, so I'll show you a black mariachi, the green mariachis, and blue. And there's little details changes um, that go with them with uh, as you go along with them. Jeez, I'm gonna have to work on my uh, my lips today. <laughs> but yeah, you can see the eyes in this one is like little uh, clovers in there, and then it actually isn't the same on the other ones. It's actually flowers. So little details that are different. We've got our Corkers baseball and Feud baseball, Panic ba and Panic baseball uh, basketball teams. Yeah, Salamanders, Liberty yeah, for Liberty City, and then we've got our football players and LSC bobbleheads, <laughs> OG bobblehead. Yeah, and Impotent Rage and the Pogo, White Pogo. And Tuxedo Frank. Yeah, and I think there are others, so I must have uh, unlocked these. So if you guys buy them in Halloween, then there'll be more choices all year round, apparently. So I probably got these two choices because I've bought them before. Hmm. Tuxedo Frank. <laughs> I don't know. I think, uh, well, I'm thinking about none because it's just kind of a waste of money, right? But, uh, but actually a Black Mariachi or a... Grim Reaper might go well. I think a Grim Reaper might do well. Just a little bit of race buddy. <laughs> Taking him down. <laughs> Even though this car is not good for racing. But we can pretend. <laughs> Maybe we'll race other people in other Karen Sultan RSs. <laughs> then it'll be interesting races. Alright, so I think that is everything, right? Our windows. Yes, our windows. That completes the look. I didn't want it to get in the way of our interior this time. I remembered. So our limbo. 5,000 tip. $5,000 tint for the limo tint. Mmm, very nice. Uh, it'd be nice if, uh, oh, it does have the lines in the back window a little bit because the original one had those little thermal lines too in the back window. Okay, so I think we went through everything. Yep, and we're not going to pick the grill. I'm just going to double check in a few things. A horn, eh, I don't think we need a, give it a truck horn or something, <laughs> but I don't think we need anything. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's what I think of musical horns for the most part. Halloween loop, you might want to buy that in Halloween next uh, couple days when they unlock that, if you don't have it already, and then you'll have it all the time for all the fun that you can have with that. <laughs> all right. 
Okay, so let's exit Benny's. I think we went through everything. Later, Benny. Oh, it's got a nice pair now. And a nice little idle. Mm-hmm. See if it'll give us a better angle here. No, cinematic camera doesn't want to cooperate today. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Woohoo! Well, she's definitely got a lot more kick. So even though I, what I said about it being, you know, um, not the greatest in the uh, sports car class, it, it is an incredible. Um, uh, improvement on the original Sultan from this game so so the Sultan that we bought to this one much better although you do lose t two seats to do that and a bunch of money but it is much better and the customization is great yeah and it's got that sound very very similar to what it sounded like in the first one so if you guys think that it's got a lot of turbo sound that you can hear a lot. It's uh, they've probably exaggerated it quite a bit to make it sound a lot like the uh, the old one from GTA 4. The uh, the main famous RS, Karen Sultan RS. All right. Already, I'm happy with that. I like that look. That's nice. Looks like a sexy race car. <laughs> Right in the sun. <laughs> yeah, so you guys might want to pick up one of these for your showroom one of these days. When there's uh, either today, because there's still that 30% off the conversion um, for today, or in the future whenever you see a Benny's conversion sale or a sale on the Karen Sultan RS. Feels like it has lots of uh, drift potential too. And like I said, if, if there was a rally off-road class, this would be probably the top car in it. Excuse me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy with that. Ooh, thought so. She's got lots of torque. So like we've talked about before, only certain vehicles can kind of do this moving uh, burnout. You kind of have to feather the brake. It can be different on different vehicles. Some of them you have to feather it, some of them you have to get that, sp that spot that's just right where you're not stopping the vehicle but it's pushing it ahead and it's a great way to drift too for this game anyway but only certain cars let you do that some cars don't let you at all and some cars do it really well and already I can tell this car does that really well so this is definitely a drifter I'd have to practice with it but very cool yeah how's the money eh not bad like all Benny's cars, it ended up costing us just over a million dollars. That's that's about normal. <laughs> it's the way Benny's always seems to be. Yep, twenty-five thousand dollars steering wheels. <laughs> yep. Woohoo! Let's open it up. Mad type. That <laughs> sounds like problems at the club. All right. Top out. Close that menu. Alright, let's start at the back here. So, still room for bodies. 
Oh, and room for a spare tire, but we don't have one in there. Less weight. Yep, looks like injection system. Very nice. No, uh, no speakers from Bentley's though, unfortunately. A couple of the cars don't give you that option. Looks like this is one of them. Well, that's okay. It's not really a low rider, but I still like the option for the uh, increased stereo system. And I do like the uh, whole race car interior now that we have. Yep, complete with fire extinguisher. Oh, so I'm just looking at the car. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh well. We've got our uh, side cap uh, uh, gas ca gas tank there. Yep. Gas cap, I should say. For race cars, very cool. Nice engine. <laughs> There's still people crying around here. It's okay, go back to the club, forget all about it. <laughs> awesome. Cool, our Dark Racer, Karen Sultan RS. I think that came out well. Yeah, like I said, we're trying to do a uh, throwback version from GTA 4, but at the same time with a bit of uh, modern GTA 5, uh, Benny Spice added in there. <laughs> All right, yeah. Thanks, Benny. <laughs> and thanks to you guys. Thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm the Missing Sock. Yeah, thanks for being here, and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. Thanks to all our Patreon fans. And uh, yeah, we'll be uh, bringing out more new episodes and more new content very, very soon. Working on a bunch of stuff right now, so we'll be seeing you guys soon. But I think today I'm actually going to bring out a few more GTA 4 episodes too. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm very happy with that Benny sale. And if you wanted to get uh, for that with that Benny's car, and if you wanted to take advantage of that Benny sale, you might want to grab one today or keep an eye open for that in the future. Mm -hmm. And I think that goes really well with our uh, with our retro uh, LG Custom right there. Very cool. All right. Very, very cool. But like I said, more of a show car, more of a fun car. Not really much of a race car, unless people are going to race similar cars. But in, a, in an open supercar competition, eh, it may not <laughs> keep up the greatest, unless it goes off-road. <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you again next time. Very, very soon. <laughs> that was not me. <laughs> Wow, terrible drivers today. <laughs> he was just, he was confused by all this awesomeness on the street beside him. Crashed into the pole back there. Oh, hey. what she is she's great yeah I was already happy to get her and I can tell already she's um, she's uh, at least 20% better than I expected her to be yep it's always nice when you get something that's even better than you thought but I went, went in with uh, low expectations so I'm quite happy with that and she could fly <laughs> take care everybody Rome.